So, listen and listen carefully. By end of tomorrow, Kenya will have a new deputy president, a puppet deputy president. Don't be blindfolded by the maturity you are seeing in Senate. At the end of the day, Gashagwa will be impeached. The only positive thing about all the impeachment process is that Gashagwa has proved to the public that he's innocent. And those all accusations are false. That is the only positive thing about this. So people are asking, why did Gashagwa not resign knowing that at the end of the day, he was going to be impeached? Gashagwa did not resign because he wanted this impeachment to be like the ICC case. What ICC did to Uhuru, he wanted this impeachment to do the same thing to him, to rally the community behind him. How? And he will be impeached. Gashagwa knows that all those accusations are false. So when he goes to the court of law, the court of law will give him the reprieve. All those accusations will be thrown out. But Gashagwa will say this. He does not want to become the deputy president again. All, all what he wants, he wants his rights as Gashagwa. The rights to receive his benefits and the rights that he can vie tomorrow for a seat. It's a very big gamble that Gashagwa is doing. So if he doesn't come uh, as a deputy president because he will not want that seat anymore, he will come back to the mountain and form a political party. A very huge political party. And by now, with this impeachment, the whole community will be rallied behind Gashawa. With that party, who will be able to take all those people, Nyumbani. Now my problem is this. If Gashawa uh, comes back with a party in Mount Kenya, we have a problem. Because we don't want Gashawa to become the president or the deputy president again. He can only help us to take the entire Kenya Kwisha Nyumbani. That's the only way Gashawa can help us. Kupeleka our water nyumbani because he's taking a very big gamble so that he can have the entire community behind him. And he knows with the entire community behind him, he just need uh, some people I know he's planning with so that he can take the entire Kenya Kusha nyumbani. That's why I'm telling our people we should be very careful because Gashawa, of course, will come, might come back because of those all those charges are fictitious. They are false, but he will come with a new party. Are we together? So, now, we are in a, in, in, a, in a very thin line. Very thin line in that, if Gashagwa comes, he can only help us to take the entire Kenya Kusha Nyumbani. Because the UDA is done. Ruto is done. That is not, that is not even debatable. How Amesha Kabisa, Kabisa. So, that is the plan that Gashagwa is planning. Are we together? It's a very big gamble, but let's see if it will be able to pay off.